When this billboard popped up in Regina, directly targeting Saskatchewan's only Liberal Member of Parliament, he wasn't impressed. It's a kind of uh, ugly American way of, uh, of campaigning. Uh, it doesn't really fit with the, with, uh, the traditions and the values that uh, are pretty typical here in, in Saskatchewan. Similar billboards have gone up in Edmonton and Calgary targeting Alberta's three Liberal MPs. More are slated for Manitoba and some swing ridings in Ontario. They're paid for by a political action committee known as a PAC that's touting Western alienation. It's aimed at the Liberals because they've done significant harm to Western Canada, its industries and its way of life. It's desperate. It's increasingly desperate um, what's going on here and the Eastern Canada doesn't understand that. Leading up to the election, PACs must now register their donors and their expenses with Elections Canada. In this case, it's Conservative allies fueled by oil and gas money. The West Watch campaign rails against the carbon tax, stalled pipeline projects, job losses, and strained diplomatic relations with China that's hurting farmers. He's a yes man to the 1%. They're going up against other PACs, such as the left-leaning Engage Canada. People look at the power that PACs have in the United States and the deep influence they have and the influence of money and go, is this happening in Canada? We have a very different regulatory uh, framework. Under new rules, third parties can spend about one and a half million dollars on ads targeting an individual or a party, and less than fifteen thousand dollars in any one electoral district. But social media is hard to track. And I think everyone's worried that we are looking at an ugly campaign. I've been involved in the political process long enough to, uh, uh, to roll with the punches. In this case, the punches came early and not from a formal political opponent. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.